Thank you. So today I, oh man, I had just a total geek overload today. I was at the the IEEE Virtual Reality 2013 conference and it was just, it was, I mean, it's a conference, it's an academic conference. You have a lot of people introducing new, new concepts, new topics, or same concepts, and they're just improving on old things. And, you know, there's times there's boring, and there's times they're, like, super exciting. So towards the end of the day, there was this one talk called Modding the Oculus Rift. And if any of you guys are into gaming, you probably have heard of the Oculus Rift. If not, it's a virtual reality headset that you wear, and it's just really well done, and it only costs $300, which is the beautiful part of it. Um, the other thing, the other beautiful part of it is the field of view. It's a way bigger field of view than most, most uh, head-mounted displays. I tried it out, and I, honestly, I'll say that it's, in my opinion, it's a 9 out of 10. It's really good, um, but the, the, the OEM displays they're getting are just don't quite have enough pixel density to really warrant them, you know, totally, you know, disallowing all HMDs. But the fact that it costs $300 makes it more of like a 9.5 out of 10 for me because the head tracking is really well done. It's just good. Funny thing was, it's just like I was starstruck by watch by uh, seeing the Oculus Rift and ch trying it out, and I filmed a little bit of it. Here's some clips of it. That's what you think, right? Yeah, that's what I think. Let's try the orientation real quick. Thank you. And so gamers, they wear these ridiculous things. They wear ridiculous headsets. They're wearing NVIDIA 3D vision glasses. And let's pretend that it doesn't go mass market. People don't all accept that you're gonna look kind of ridiculous wearing this thing. And by the way, I think that eventually we're gonna get to the point where it's a pair of glasses, not a big giant bulky thing. But before we get to that point, it's a big bulky thing, doesn't matter, that's still millions of people, millions of birds sitting alone in the dark in their rooms. <laughs> Thank you.